Hey y'all, I found my old rumble pack for the N64 and as you can see when I pop open the battery cover, it's got old crusty batteries in it. Rather than just clean it, I figured it's about time to get rid of those batteries for good and power the rumble pack from the controller itself. This is a mod Nintendo used to do on game demo kiosks and stores where you could try out the games and feel the rumble. The mod itself is super straightforward and there are actually multiple ways of accomplishing it, so I'll show both that I know of, starting with the more difficult version. To begin, I need to open up the rumble pack. It's pretty quick, requiring just the removal of two game bit screws, then sliding open the plastic and being careful not to pull the wires connecting the two sides apart. The actual mod is easy. You move this fusible resistor over to these two vias. Basically what we're doing is connecting the positive voltage from the battery pack, which would be approximately 3 volts, to the power supply from the console, which is about 3.3 volts. Moving forward, I'll need to desolder the fusible resistor from its current location. These generally have long enough legs that I can move it to its final location without needing any extra wiring for resoldering. I'll start with the desolder pump and my soldering iron to remove as much of the old solder as possible. A bit of flux helps here, as you've seen in my previous videos, or adding some uh, low heat solder. So my camera died and I lost the soldering footage, but I just soldered it to the two points I mentioned before with some fresh solder. Here you can see what it looks like when it's done, albeit a terrible bodge job on my part. I mentioned an alternate approach earlier, so here it is on screen now. It's super easy, only requiring a single wire to jump from the battery contact up to the same 3.3 volt pin located just under the E in Nintendo. That's the way I wired up my other rumble pack. Anyway, I'm making sure to label modded packs so I don't accidentally put batteries in them and fry them. As a note, you should probably never use more than two of these in one console at a given time, just because they could draw a little bit too much power and could end up causing issues. The last step is putting it back together, which just involves reconnecting the motor wires and sliding the contacts back through. I tested it out with Star Fox 64 and it worked great. Thanks for watching. If you like my content, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one.